Welcome everyone. So my last video, we took a look at this old Dell system that I've got, XPS uh, B933. And uh, one of the things I'm most proud about in this whole system is the monitor, which I didn't end up talking that much about because I plan on making another video, but these Sony Trinitron monitors were uh, among my favorite uh, monitors back in the day, uh, before the advent certainly of modern LED screens, these were probably among the best that you could get. And actually, I preferred these uh, up until, you know, maybe just 10 or 15 years ago because they tended to produce really nice uh, color uh, accuracy and so forth. But one of the things you did have to worry about with the CRT monitors is occasionally things, uh, anything that produce a, a electric magnet, electromagnetic field uh, essentially interfering with the electron beams that the CRT monitor uh, uses to, of course, produce the display. Um, so basically anything that produces a magnetic field, these might be unshielded electronics, speakers, are perhaps among the most common thing that would potentially interfere on your desktop, but a lot of other things too. Uh, even lightning strikes um, can potentially mess with a CRT type monitor or TV. And really, uh, all you need to see this, this, this interference, is a magnet, which will pass in front of the monitor. You can see that blue streak, kind of purple, and it's leaving behind these, these streaks here. Now, uh, most CRTs, because this really wasn't all that uncommon that this sort of problem would arise, has a degaussing mechanism in it. Basically, that just uh, eliminates, randomizes, eliminates that magnetic field so that it's no longer interfering with, with the picture. So, um, this monitor has a really nice, satisfying uh, degaussing mechanism in it, so I wanted to share that uh, with you. So, let's, let's attempt to degauss this because I really hope. Uh, this, of course, is not permanent. I guess we'll, we'll see how good the degaussing mechanism is on this thing. Okay. Let's try that again. Option. Degauss. And there we go. So no more streaking. Uh, looks pretty clean to me. Yeah, so it's really quite effective. Um, it's, a, it's a really nice little um, internal mechanism that uh, uh, allows you to do that. And again, most of these old CRTs came with this because it's just such a common problem that uh, you know you wouldn't want your, I don't know how much thing cost in, in, uh, when it was originally sold, but it might have been a you thousand know, dollar monitor. Uh, and uh, you don't want that ruined because you know, your five-year-old comes up and places a magnet on top of it. Um, so this would happen to, uh, to TVs as well. And uh, you can actually um, ex essentially destroy a hard drive you know, by, uh, by degaussing and uh, magnetizing, demagnetizing, and kind of screwing everything up because everything's based on uh, that, that uh, writing that data um, using uh, a magnetism. So that's degaussing, a uh, really nice feature, almost a, a uh, necessary feature for these, for these old monitors. And uh, you know, that way you can go on and keep enjoying your CRT monitor for well, decades now, because this monitor is probably about 25 years old, I estimate. And uh, still looks great. Uh, haven't really had much problems with it. Had a lot of problems with LCDs that are of that age, but not these CRTs. It's hanging in there. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, take a look at some other other videos if you like. And uh, hope to see you around. Uh, check out some of the, the future videos we got coming your way. Uh, there's always more. I'm usually coming out with videos now, uh, at least a couple times a week. So. Uh, so please go ahead and do check on back. Thanks, guys.